Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Monica Lou here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading for the month of July. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Virgo, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your biggest challenge here, Virgo, for the month of July is the Five of Pentacles. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is, oh, is the Emperor. Wow. That rarely happens. <laughs> but yes, the Emperor. Okay. So your biggest challenge here, Virgo, has a lot to do with something here, okay? As much as I want to do your reading over again, I don't because I feel like there's a really important message in here for someone to hear. So with the Five of Pentacles, I'm really strongly getting someone here left you, abandoned you, ghosted you. Maybe you could be in a place right now where you feel like something here doesn't hold any more value for you in your life. We're going to clarify the Five of Pentacles and see uh, what the important message is here for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Three of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Devil. So I feel like in the recent past, there's something here about just wanting to move forward. It's like the time is now. I want to move forward. There's something here about you not wanting to be in the same place in the past. It's like I want to move forward. I do feel like a lot of you were dealing with an air sign in the past, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, maybe a Capricorn here. There's something here about a situation in your life becoming extremely toxic in the past. Uh, a lot of codependency, a lot of obsession here in the recent past. And I'm also getting that this person, the King of Swords, was someone who's really logical, okay? So somebody here could have wanted to address, uh, address, excuse me, address issues within the relationship in the past. Um, but even though this person wanted to address these issues in the past, it's like someone here just wanted to move on. It's like they didn't even want to pay attention to it here in the past, okay? So we're going to clarify that and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the King of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. So in the present moment, I'm really strongly getting there's a lot of love here. A lot of love from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I do feel like you are evaluating right now um, your life in general. Some of you paint or you have some sort of hobby where you do artwork. And when you're doing this artwork, you're kind of thinking about this person and thinking about whether or not there's someone that you really want to heal things with, you really want to move forward with. So it's kind of like, I feel like there's a bit of a separation in the present moment. You and this person can still be living in the same house, but feel like there's some um, form of separation here. And even if you are separated, this is about you and this person still trying to figure out if this is still worth worth it is it still is it still worth pursuing in the present moment now in the near future you have the queen of swords the queen of wands and the nine of cups it looks like there's something here in the in the near future that brings you a lot of happiness a lot of happiness virgo with the the nine of cups here i do feel like there's going to be some sort of meeting here in the near future Okay, I don't know what this meeting's about, but it could be with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm also getting a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, we're going to find out when we clarify. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Emperor in reverse. So something here is out of balance or out of, out of, something here is not, I don't want to say balanced because that's not the right word to use, but something here is just not stable. Maybe that's a better word to use. Something here isn't stable and there's a reason why something here isn't stable. Okay. We're going to clarify and see if we can find out what, what this may be. All right. Let's clarify the five of pentacles.
So the Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Pentacles, the Star, and the Ten of Cups, okay? I'm just going to put this story out there. Not going to resonate with everyone. There's something here about popcorn, okay? So either you had it, you watched a movie with this person, there was some popcorn, and somebody here left. Somebody here ghosted and left. And your biggest challenge for the month of July is, am I still able, Monica, to have this happiness with this person? Do they still want to have a future with me? Can we heal things? Yeah, but they left. Or maybe you left. Somebody here ghosted, left, and this person, okay, and I feel like this is you, Virgo, you're still questioning whether or not you and this person are actually going to have the happiness that you both want. Okay, there's something here about, about having some sort of vision for this relationship, but at the same time still being in your emotions about it. It's like you're super, super in your emotions about this person leaving. And it's difficult, right, for you to get to this point or place of, of determining, you know, because there's something here about you having a very strong connection with this person. It's a very strong emotional connection. You don't know what it is. Um, but it's very deep and the idea of this person just leaving or disconnecting really hurts you on a deep level. So your biggest challenge here is to determine if you can still have a future with this person despite the fact that they left or disconnected. All right. So let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the devil in the recent past. Okay, so the devil is clarified by the Four of Cups. You have the Temperance and the Knight of Wands. So in the recent past, I do feel like someone here was making promises to you, okay? Um, fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting a Cancer or a Capricorn. This person promised to change in the past. I do feel like this person was very on and off with you or they left you constantly questioning about the relationship. This person moved extremely slow to make some sort of changes that they promised to you that they would make. Uh, and there was also a lot of rejection here or an energy here of not really feeling wanted in the past. And that's why you may have thought to yourself, you know what, maybe it's better for me to just move on. Maybe the best thing to do is just to move on. Tell me more about the three of wands. So the three of wands is clarified by the ace of wands, the eight of pentacles and the ten of wands. So in the recent past, I'm really strongly getting that something here became too difficult for you as much as you wanted to have a new beginning and work things out. You may have been in this place of quickly wanting to travel, leave, disconnect because you no longer wanted to be in this place of um, feeling like something here was difficult. And, you know, to be honest with you, Virgo, things do get difficult when people promise us stuff and then they don't follow through on them. You know, it gets difficult when people say, yeah, I'm going to change and then they don't. So it's kind of like you were in a place, okay? You or your person, take, take it as it resonates. Somebody here just wanted to have a new beginning in the past, but things started to become difficult. And I feel like this was you in the past. Things became difficult with this person who promised you um, a lot here. Okay, now in the present moment, you're still contemplating, you're still reviewing whether or not this is something you see yourself being involved in. Tell me more about this person who's coming in for Virgo. Now, by the way, this person, okay, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they have a lot of love for you, okay? They love you a lot. This person is someone here who would jump over the moon for you, okay? Their emotions are super, super strong for you. Tell me more about could be a cancer that you're dealing with here. Tell me more about the King of Cups in the present moment. You have the Eight of Cups, yes. The Queen of Pentacles in the Tower, yep. Yeah, this is your person. This person is devastated that you walked away, okay? Or they're rethinking about why they left or why they disconnected. This led to a breakup. It led to a lot of issues within the relationship. This person thinks about you all the time. This person thinks about, you know, offering you love still, even though they disconnected and, and, and emotionally walked away from this. And one of the things I want to say to you, Virgo, is this person in the present moment, when they're thinking about you, you're also thinking about them too. There's a very strong connection here. The Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Six of Swords. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So you're thinking about ways to have a new beginning with this person after they left or disconnected from you. So I think the main goal here in the present moment for both you and this person is the Four of Swords. It's like, can we get to this place of healing? Can we get to this place of getting back on track? Tell me more. What is the important message for Virgo in the present moment?
So the Four of Swords is clarified by the Three of Swords. You have the Six of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So in the present moment, I am strongly getting that there is still a desire here between you and this person to heal things, okay? Because there's still a feeling here, Virgo, in the present moment that there is an opportunity to heal a painful event that happened between you and this person, and most importantly, to get to this place of success, okay? Six of Wands is the card of success. So there's definitely a desire here to rebuild something, okay? So let's talk about the near future. Now, like I said before we even you know, got to clarifying, I did mention that there's a meeting that's going to happen for you in the near future. That's what I'm intuitively picking up. And I feel that is possible here with the Queen of Wands, and you have the Queen of Swords, Okay, two court cards. So, and it looks like this meeting leads to a lot of happiness for you. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands in the near future for Virgo. Okay, so the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Four of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Five of Swords. So in the near future, I do feel like someone here is going to be confrontational. Okay, Fire Sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person is showing up in the near future because they're confronting some sort of issues that they had with you. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you, Virgo, and this isn't going to resonate with, you know, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but I'm going to just mention it. Some of you are gonna not going to like this, but it's not going to resonate with you. It's only going to resonate with a specific group of people. So in the near future, someone, fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries that you've been dealing with, maybe an air sign, Aquarius or a Libra, this person's going to confront you. And they're going to confront you because they feel like you've been cheating, you've been lying, you haven't been honest. Okay? I know you don't want to hear that, but that's what's showing up in the reading. Okay, so somebody here is confronting you because there's a relationship in the present moment. And even though you and this person seem like you've broken up, it hasn't, there's no, there hasn't been an official breakup. And that's why this person comes back around seven of swords and five of swords, which are the most challenging cards. I find these two cards the most challenging cards besides the tower. These two cards can be very, very evasive cards. So when they come out, you know, it's about you and this person or this person particularly because this person's not happy when they meet up with you. Look at, look at the face. Somebody here is flustered. They're upset. They want to get to the bottom of something here. You know, tell me more about the Queen of Swords in the near future for Virgo. The Queen of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Hermit. So for others of you, you're dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, a, another Virgo, a Pisces, or a Cancer here. This person's going to come towards you in the near future, and I feel like they're going to try to have some sort of new beginning with you. This person in the near future wants to reconcile, okay? So there's two different stories. That's why two different court cards came out, because there's two different stories here that are related to you. And in the near future, it actually brings you a lot of happiness to see that this person actually tries to come back to you because your biggest challenge here is assuming that this person just left and that they're never going to come back and they are going to come back. But the way in which they're coming back, depending on what type of person or energy you're dealing with, there is going to be some sort of confrontation. Okay, one great and one not so great is what I'm seeing. Tell me more about the nine of cups in the near future for Virgo in love. So the Nine of Cups is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Page of Wands. So in the near future, what makes you a lot of, uh, what makes you a lot of happy? What makes you a lot of happy? <laughs> That's not a sentence, is it? It's just one I'm, I made up. Okay. What's going to make you happy, Virgo, in the near future is the fact that something here comes back into balance. Six of Pentacles. I do feel like you're going to be very generous towards this person that you ended things with because the idea of you and this person coming back together, first of all, this is what you want. Most of you want that and it does happen. But when it does happen, it's not just about you and this person meeting up again. It's also about you and this person making plans. Uh, possible future plans to 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 have a new beginning okay so let's get some advice for you what is the advice so 
So the advice for you is the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Five of Cups. So your biggest piece of advice here moving forward is not just to be generous with this person when they come back, because here's the thing. When this person comes back, okay, you're going to be so happy. You're going to be so quick to give to this person, do for them like you always do, right? You're a Virgo. You're the sign of service. So you're here to help serve people. That's what you're... Um, your astrological soul path is for Virgo, the sign of Virgo. So instead of just being uh, in that energy of just giving to this person, giving, there's a need for you to get to the bottom of why something here didn't work out. Don't be afraid to confront issues, okay, within this connection, because the more you dance around these issues and pretend like they're not there, the more you create imbalance within yourself and within other people that you're dealing with. So your biggest piece of advice here is do not shy away from being honest. Do not shy, because there's something here about you always keeping face it's like oh i'm just gonna smile and everything's gonna be fine but the truth is virgo when you have issues you need to confront them because if you don't it ends up being like mold in the fridge okay when you have old food sitting in the fridge and then it starts getting moldy and then it starts creating other issues right so you don't want that to happen okay so your biggest piece of advice here is to not just give to the situation but also get to the bottom of an issue so that you can give to the situation without being worried that things are not going to work out in the end for you and this person okay it's very important that you do this because there's something here about lingering issues and every time lingering issues stay around like i said it's like mold in the fridge and it doesn't it, it's not good you know because then it just starts stinking everything up and then it creates other issues and and that's that's your biggest piece of advice moving forward okay so virgo this is what i have for you i hope this reading helped thanks so much for tuning in and i will see you on the next one bye